For us super fans of all things Disney, we can agree that we had unrealistic expectations of what love was supposed to be like, especially when it came to finding our Prince Charming. Like with most Disney characters, the princes are just as perfect and inhumanly beautiful, complete with perfect hair, eyes, and smiles. There's no way there could ever be anyone who looks like them, right? And wrong! Well, you'll be glad to know that you are wrong. We've compiled a list of actors who would be perfect to play Disney princes. Check out our video to find out who made the cut. Before you find your real-life Prince Charming, make sure you click that subscribe button to stay up to date with all things Screen Rant. It's time for our emoji quiz. Can you guess what movie they're showing here? Stay tuned till the end to find out. We've met before. We, we have? Well, of course. You said so yourself. Once upon a dream. Ryan Reynolds, Prince Philip. What's a nice place like you doing and a girl like this? I know you. I walked with you once upon a dream. We know you know that line. It should conjure up images of the beautifully animated Disney film Sleeping Beauty. Stylistically, this film stands out among the rest, but there's also many other reasons why this film stands out among all the classic Disney films. One of them being the charming Prince Philip. What makes him so charming? Well, he can sing like the other princes, yes, but he can dance as well. Super suave. But who would play the smooth and determined prince? Well, Ryan Reynolds, of course. They have the same tall and slender physique and broad shoulders. His tone physique and amazing sense of humor are also enough to make everyone swoon, as a prince should do. They have the same long, slender face, whimsical brown eyes, and perfect brown hair. We know he's got a great smile, and can play the romantic lead in movies like The Proposal. In most of his films, Ryan adds a perfect amount of charm and humor. He's also like this in real life. Just check out his hilarious tweets. We think he would bring a refreshing take on Prince Philip. Plus, we know he can do action scenes really well, so the Maleficent dragon scene would be cake for him. So we're done. Every one of them's bad, except you. Oh, thanks, buddy. Chris Pratt as Kristoff. In the worldwide phenomenon that was Disney's Frozen, there are quite a few favorite characters to choose from. There's of course the title characters Elsa and Anna, of course the adorable snowman Olaf, or the reindeer Sven. But what about the gentleman? One of the most charming guys in recent Disney history is the lovable Kristoff. He's awkward, goofy, silly, and adorable. So who better to play him than a guy who fits all of those descriptions? Star-Lord. Who? We think Chris Pratt would be perfect for a real-life version of Kristoff. He physically looks like Kristoff, they have the same build and hair, they both are kind-hearted and are perfect romantic leads. Most importantly, they both have the same type of humor, and are basically just big goofy kids at their core. Chris played Andy in Parks and Rec, who is a very similar personality type to Kristoff. He also plays Peter Quill in Guardians of the Galaxy, who's a very silly and lovable guy. We already know he's a hit with fans and know he can be very charming. There's no one more perfect to play Anna's love interest than fun-loving Chris Pratt. Gotta eat to live, gotta still to eat, tell you all about it when I got the time. Tyler Posey, Aladdin. One of the most lovable characters in the Disney Empire is the diamond in the rough himself, Aladdin. Aladdin! Hello, Aladdin. Nice to have you on the show. His story takes place in the fictional kingdom of Agrabah, where he plays a homeless youth who only steals to have something to eat. All the while, he performs amazing stunts and wins the heart of the princess by being his charming, good-natured self, thus proving that no matter how many flashy trinkets you try and give someone, telling the truth and being yourself will always prevail. Our pick for a live-action version of Aladdin would be heartthrob Tyler Posey. You might recognize him from the hit show Teen Wolf. In this show, Tyler showcases his awesome knack for stunts, which would be perfect for all the stunts Aladdin does in the cartoon. Tyler has also shown that he looks pretty great shirtless, which means he'd have no trouble wearing Aladdin's outfit. One of the most important and winning factors is Tyler's charming personality. We know he can be a goofball and he loves performing. Plus, check out that thousand watt smile and perfect brown hair. He could totally be Aladdin. How you doing? The name's Flynn Rider. Zachary Levi, Flynn Rider. We know that Flynn Rider, real name Eugene Fitzherbert, isn't really a prince to begin with, but he later goes on to marry Rapunzel, which makes him a prince later on. With that long brown hair and smoldering eyes, who can resist him? Well, Rapunzel could, which allowed them to have an even deeper connection, as she saw past his pretty boy charms. So who better to play this bandit turned selfless prince than the actor who voiced him? No one, that's who. Zachary Levi would have no trouble transitioning into a live action version of this movie, as he's already played the character in the hit animated version. Most animated characters are influenced to some degree by the actors who voice them, and Flynn is no exception. He was originally supposed to be a British farmer, but was quickly changed into an American bandit after Zack read the lines. To make matters even better, the handsome actor also sings. You heard that right. He was able to sing in the film as well. Can he be any more swoon-worthy? We think Zack was the perfect choice for the animated film and would make an excellent Flynn in the live-action version. Let's get down to business. Godfrey Gao, Captain Lee Shang, 
Let's get down to business to find our real life Captain Lee Shang. Those of you who love the Disney film Mulan also fell in love with the awesome Captain Lee Shang. Who could forget that awkward helmet return at the end of the film? There's nothing more adorable than an awkward dude. For fans of Shang, we have an actor who would be perfect for the role. Godfrey Gao would be perfect as Shang in a live action version of Mulan. The 32 year old actor and model has chiseled features, making him a dead ringer. You might recognize him from his portrayal of Magnus Bane in the film The Mortal Instruments, City of Bones. The film didn't receive the best reviews, but we can all agree that Godfrey was definitely swoon worthy. Another trait that makes him perfect to play Shang. Godfrey Gao has been acting in Taiwanese television for over a decade, so we know he's got the experience as well as the look. He's also modeled for high fashion label Louis Vuitton, and with good looks like those, it's no surprise. This is, I mean, <clears throat> yes sir. I am mighty. Chris Hemsworth, Prince Adam. A tale as old as time, a song as old as rhyme. Yep. You got it. We're gonna be talking about Beauty and the Beast. The beloved cartoon was a hit with audiences when it was released, and in the era of remakes and revamps, the most natural step was to make it into a live action film. The film starred Emma Watson as the bookish and beautiful Belle, and Dan Stevens as Prince Adam, aka Beast. While we think that Emma was a fantastic casting choice, we might have chosen someone else as Prince Adam. Dan Stevens was great, and he totally nailed the part, especially in terms of looks, but we would have chosen Chris Hemsworth as our first choice, or at least a solid backup. <laughs> That's impressive. You might recognize him from his role in the Marvel series Thor, The Avengers, and most recently, Ghostbusters. With his tall and muscular frame and chiseled features, he's actually a good candidate to play Beast and Adam. We know he can play leading man material, and he already technically works with Disney. Fans love him as Thor, and we know he would be even more beloved as Prince Adam. Oh, this is very good then. Oh, uh, Prince Hans of the Southern Isles. Sam Claflin, Prince Hans. Whether you love Frozen or can't stand it, it seems that fans everywhere can't seem to let it go. It's everywhere, and rightfully so. Even though you've heard Let It Go so much you could probably recite it in your sleep, we can all agree that Frozen is a fantastic film. That being said, we think a live action version of this film is inevitable. The show Once Upon a Time has already given us a taste of what these characters would look like in live action, so why not a feature? Disney is remaking a couple of their films as live action, so why not one of their most popular? If they do go that route, we've already got our Prince Hans in mind. The Prince of the Southern Isles turned villain is known at first for his charming personality, caring nature, and good looks. Hey, he had us all fooled, okay? So for this role, you need someone who's not only handsome, but believable. You need Sam Claflin. He's known for his role as Finnick O'Dare in the Hunger Games franchise, as well as Pirates of the Caribbean and The Huntsman Winter's War. We know he looks good in period pieces and can rock some wicked sidebirds. Perfect for Prince Hans. Yeah? And who are you? I happen to be a hero. <laughs> Sam Hewitt, Hercules. Who puts the glad in gladiator? Hercules! Okay, okay, we know this next one is technically not a prince, but he's a god. Well, demigod. Any which case, God trumps Prince any day, right? Especially when Zeus is your father. We love Hercules for so many reasons, like the animation style, catchy songs, Meg's sassy one-liners, but most of all, we love the journey of growth, love, and self-acceptance that our hero Hurt goes through. Plus, he swam in the river Styx to rescue Meg's soul, and on top of that, he gives up his godhood to stay on Earth with Meg. Can he be any sweeter? The perfect Hercules would have to be tall, strong, charming, a goofball, and also have a great red mane. Sounds pretty specific, right? Well, we've got Scott Scottish actor Sam Hewen in mind for the role. Sam is known for his role as Jamie Fraser in the hit show Outlander. We know he can be a strong fighter and a romantic leading man. He's tall, looks like he definitely puts in some time at the gym, and he has perfectly flowing curly red hair. He's also got Zeus's strong chin, just like Herc does in the cartoon. Wait. Henry Cavill, Prince Charming. One of our favorite Disney classics taught us to keep dreaming because a dream is a wish your heart makes. Cinderella was a magic tale of a young girl who dreamed of more, and boy did she get it. She got to leave her oppressive home and move into a castle with a hunky prince. Pretty sweet, right? Well, one of our favorite parts of this movie was the dance scene between Cinderella and Prince Charming. Ah yes, so this is the moment that we all fell in love. For the live action Cinderella that was recently revamped, Disney cast Richard Madden as the prince. If Richard looks familiar, it's because he played the King of the North himself, Rob Stark. While Richard makes an excellent and handsome choice, we would have also liked to have seen Henry Cavill tackle the role. The Man of Steel himself definitely has the looks, from his hair to his square jaw. No one would be able to resist his charms. It would also be great to see what the talented actor would bring to the table for this role. We're sure he would up the charm for Prince Charming. Isn't this great? The salty sea air, the wind blowing in your face. <laughs> Matt Bomer, Prince Eric. 
If you've ever wanted to be part of Ariel's world, we have a pretty good idea as to why. Being a mermaid sure seemed like fun, but we think Ariel's fascination with the human world was also pretty cool, especially her infatuation with a particular human gentleman, Prince Eric. The perfect jet black hair, bold brows, perfect smile, and dazzling blue eyes. Yep, Ariel was totally justified in her crush. Put down your dingle hopper because we've got some news for you. We know that in Hollywood, there are many handsome gents with looks that are completely unreal, but in the case of Prince Eric, none fits the bill as perfectly as Matt Bomer does. You may recognize him from the hit show White Collar, as well as his roles in American Horror Story and films like Magic Mike, XXL, and The Magnificent Seven. His perfectly tesseled black hair and bold brows totally look like Prince Eric's. And just look at those steely blue eyes. Pretty swoon-worthy if you ask us. All he needs is some mariner skills, a boat, and the ability to play the flute. That's pretty much the cherry on top. Prince Eric plays a mean flute, don't you think? Well, there you have it. Those are some of our choices for actors we wish would play Disney princes. What do you think? Two thumbs way, way up. Were we spot on? Who would you have chosen? Which was your favorite? Let us know in the comments below. And while you're here, don't forget to check out our other videos in our playlist. And make sure to subscribe to keep up to date on the latest content. Before we go, here is the answer to the emoji quiz. Did you get it? Let us know in the comments. Thanks for watching. Made you look.